Good afternoon, this is Keith All, and today's topic is about what is the Windows Charms Bar and how can you use it. I'm using Windows 8.1 environment. Now as you can see from the screen, it's just a screen image of my uh, start screen on Windows 8.1. And if you look over to the right here, there's a little bar. It's a black bar. And this is what they call the charms bar. And what pops up when the charms bar is activated, you have five different icons or they're referred to as charms that appear. And also over to the lower left, you all, this will also appear with the charms bar, which is, uh, as you can see, is the current date and time. So what is the charms bar? Well, the charms bar are five different icons or charms that appear when you activate the bar. And these icons or charms perform certain functions. Now the charms bar can be activated from anywhere within the Windows 8.1 environment. Whether you're on the start screen or on the Windows desktop or even from within apps and desktop programs. Now, how do you activate the charms bar? There are three different methods that you can, how you can activate the charms bar. And that is by using your mouse, your keyboard, or even by touching the screen if you have a touch screen um, on your PC. Now, if you use your mouse, all you have to do is point your mouse your mouse cursor up to the either far right top or the bottom right corners. If you use your keyboard, uh, all you have to do is press in combination uh, is the Windows key plus the letter C. And if you touched, you use the touch screen, you could slide your finger inward from the screen's right edge. Now I'll do that right now with my finger because I have a touch screen. And as you can see, the charms bar is now activated. You could get rid of this charms bar easily by either clicking outside the charms bar or even pressing the escape key. Now here's what here's a description on what each icon does and or charms does now again I'll activate it so you we could go along here now the search button or icon if you choose this Windows assumes you want to search within what you're currently seeing on the screen now to expand your search you just choose one of the other search locations like either apps, settings, or files. And I'll show you this later on in the presentation because I'll touch each each one of them and you'll see how it appears. Now if you touch or activate the share charm, this fetches options for sharing what's currently on your screen. So when you're viewing a web page, for example, a click of the share button lets you choose your mail application to email a page's link to whoever. If you touch the start icon or charm, this just simply takes you back to the start screen. Again, the Windows key on your keyboard or tablet also brings you back to the start screen. If you touch the devices icon, uh, if you choose this to send your current screen's information to another device, such as a printer, a second monitor, or perhaps a phone. Now the device option lists only devices that are currently connected to your computer and able to receive the screen's information. If you press the settings icon, this lets you quickly tweak your computer's six major settings, which is your Wi-Fi network, your volume, your screen, your notifications, power, or keyboard and language. 
And if that isn't enough, when you uh, activate the screen icon or charm, you're going to have something at the bottom lower right corner that allows you to change your PC settings. Um, so now to activate your um, each one of those icons by using your keyboard, um, you can totally bypass the uh, uh, bringing up the charms bar and go directly to that particular function. So in other words, to open up the charms bar, a keyboard shortcut is by pressing the Windows key plus the C key, which is what I just did. If you want to search for apps or files or settings, what you would do is press the Windows key plus the Q key, which is what I just did, and that's what happened here. Again, this is um, what you could search. You could search everywhere, search the settings, the files, web images, or web videos. Now, if you want to share what you have on the screen, the sh keyboard shortcut would be the Windows plus the H key, and that's what pops up. If you want to return to the start screen, I won't do that now, but what that will do is just bring you directly to your start screen. And in order to do that with the keyboard, all you have to do is just press the Windows key. To interact with your attached devices that you have on your computer, you would hit the Windows key plus the K key. And right now, this is what will come up on my end because uh, that's all I have connected with my um, PC right now. In order to change your settings, what you would do is press the Windows key plus the letter I. And this is how you could activate changing your settings. And again, this is what shows up on the bottom. This is my internet connection, my volume, my brightness, notifications, your power, and your keyboard. If you want to change more than what's here, you just click to uh, change PC settings and it'll take you to another screen. So I hope this tutorial on what the Windows Charms Bar is and what they do, what the individual charms do, has helped you uh, uh, with your learning your Windows 8.1 environment. Again, this is Keith All, and I thank you for stopping by. You could always come back and visit my channel at any time to learn more about Windows 8.1. And currently, I'm doing a lot of tutorials on Excel. In the future, I will do more tutorials on the other Windows or Office applications, which include Windows, which includes Word, again PowerPoint. Um, access possibly in the future and other applications that are included with the Windows Office applications. Again, thank you for stopping by and please stop by often. Have a great day. Bye now.